The previous page of your notes went over how the blood gets to the filtering apparatus. Now on this page, I'm going to show you what happens to the fluid that is filtered. So, You could call this page the tubule system for filtered fluid. Then here's some amazing facts. The kidneys filter about 200 liters a day. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? So, um, what that means is think how, if you have five liters of blood in your body, how many times in a day that that blood is passing through your kidneys and then how much of the fluid is coming out. But of course, all of the fluid can't come out of the blood or your blood pressure would go too low. So this is a cumulative number for an entire day. Now, if you were going to look at every minute, then a healthy a uh, glomerular filtration rate is 120 milliliters. So that's not as much, right? I mean, think about the heart. We know that 120 milliliters is how full it gets for end diastolic volume. So we're talking about that much uh, fluid is filtered every minute. And we call that um, GFR or glomerular filtration rate. Healthy kidneys are able to filter a lot of fluid, and um, with, in the case of very high blood pressure, systemically, then not as much fluid is getting to the kidneys and GFR will fall. It can get so bad that um, urine formation actually stops, and then that um, is a sign of kidney failure. So this is how much comes out per minute, but are you having to um, pee every minute like that? Of course not. Uh, we actually produce somewhere around one liter a day of urine. So if you look at this, you've got 200 liters a day that are actually filtered, but of those, only one liter makes it all the way down to the bladder. So what that tells you is about 199 liters go right back into the blood. And the word we use for that is reabsorbed. So these are all important numbers that we'll come back to. And your understanding of these numbers will reflect the concept of exactly what the purpose is of the filtering. So only the waste products actually get filtered and all the other stuff gets to go back. Okay, tying in with some hormones, what are some hormones that you know that would increase the amount of fluid that's reabsorbed or, um, yeah, so ADH you know that ADH increases the amount of water reabsorbed by the kidneys so it's going to decrease urine output and increase blood volume which can increase blood pressure. And aldosterone increases the salt that's reabsorbed water follows salt
and that will increase blood volume in that manner. So aldosterone is also important. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at a few of uh, the filtering structures. You can use um, a blue dot to represent, actually let's use a red dot for glomerular capillaries. Make those all the way around and those little red dots that you're making represent glomerular capillary beds. You have about one million of these in each kidney. And this is where the site where fluid is filtered out of the blood vessels and into nephrons. And those are tubules that carry the filtrate to the ureter. This is the ureter. In fact, let's go ahead and um, whoa, that got really blurry, didn't it? Sorry. Let's see if we can get that to come back. It's not just my coffee. Okay, I'll uh, have to start this one back up.